फायदा आला है Aida al-Adha, Feast of the Sacrifice, also called the Festival of the Sacrifice, is the second of two Islamic holidays celebrated worldwide each year, the other being Aida al-Fitr, and considered the whole year of the two. It honors the willingness of Ibrahim, Abraham, to sacrifice his son as an act of obedience to God's command. But, before before to sacrifice his son, God provided a lamb to sacrifice instead. In commemoration of this intervention, an animal is sacrificed and divided into three parts. One share is given to the poor poor needy, another is kept for home, and the third is given to relatives. In the Islamic lunar calendar, Eid al-Adha falls on the 10th day of Dhu al-Hijjah and lasts for 3 days. In the international Gregorian calendar, the dates vary from year to year, shifting approximately 11 days earlier each year. In languages other than Arabic, the name is often simply translated into the local language, such as English Feast of the Sacrifice, German Afrist, Dutch Opfest, Romanian Sarbtoarea Sacrificule, and Hungarian Adoze Shunb. In Spanish it is known as Fiesta del Cordero, or Fiesta del Berga, both meaning Festival of the Lamb. One of the main trials of Ibrahim, Abraham's, life was to face the command of God to sacrifice his dearest possession, his son. The son is not named in the Quran, but the earliest Islamic traditions identify Ismail, Ishmael, as the son who was sacrificed. Upon hearing this command, Abraham prepared to submit to the will of God. During this preparation, Satan, the devil, tempted Abraham and his family by trying to dissuade them from carrying out God's commandment, and Abraham drove Satan away by throwing pebbles at him. In commemoration of their rejection of Satan, stones are thrown at symbolic pillars during the stoning of the devil during Edge right when Abraham attempted to cut his son's throat on Mount Arafat. He was astonished to see that his son was unharmed and instead, he found an animal which was slaughtered. Abraham had passed the test by his willingness to carry out God's command. This story is known as the Akedain Judaism, binding of Isaac, and originates in the Torah, the first book of Moses, Genesis, chapter 22. Abraham had shown that his love for God superseded all others, that he would lay down his own life or the lives of those dearest to him in submission to God's command. Muslims commemorate this ultimate act of sacrifice every year during Eid al-Adha. While Abraham was prepared to make an ultimate sacrifice, God ultimately prevents the sacrifice, additionally signifying that one should never sacrifice a human life, especially not in the name of God. The word died appears once in Almida, the fifth year of the Quran, with the meaning solemn festival. Devotees offer the Eid al-Adha prayers at the mosque. The Eid al-Adha prayer is performed any time after the sun completely rises up to just before the entering of Zaw time, on the 10th of Dhu al-Hijjah. In the event of a forced match, for instance natural disaster, the prayer may be delayed to the 11th of Dhu al-Hijjah and then to the 12th of Dhu al-Hijjah. Eid prayers must be offered in congregation. Participation of women in the prayer congregation varies from community to community. At the conclusion of the prayers and sermon, Muslims embrace and exchange greetings with one another, Eid Mubarak, give gifts and visit one another. Many Muslims also take this opportunity to invite their non-Muslim friends, neighbors, co-workers and classmates to their right festivities to better acquaint them about Islam and Muslim culture. During Eid al-Adha, distributing meat amongst the people, chanting the Tepah out loud before the Eid prayers on the first day and after prayers throughout the three days of Eid, are considered essential parts of this important Islamic festival. 
Men, women, and children are expected to dress in their finest clothing to perform my prayer in a large congregation in an open wakf, stopping, field called Eidgah or mosque. Affluent Muslims, who can afford to sacrifice their best halal domestic animals, usually a cow, but can also be a camel, goat, sheep, or ram depending on the region, as a symbol of Abraham's willingness to sacrifice his only son. The sacrificed animals, called Edhiria, known also by the Perso Arabic term Krupni, have to meet certain age and quality standards, or else the animal is considered an unacceptable sacrifice. In Pakistan alone nearly 10 million animals are slaughtered on nine days costing over $2.0 billion. The meat from the sacrificed animal is preferred to be divided into three parts. The family retains one third of the share. Another third is given to relatives, friends, and neighbors, and the remaining third is given to the poor poor needy. Muslims wear their new or best clothes. Women cook special sweets, including mammal, filled shortbread cookies. They gather with family and friends. While Eid al-Adha is always on the same day of the Islamic calendar, the date on the Gregorian calendar varies from year to year since the Islamic calendar is a lunar calendar and the Gregorian calendar is a solar calendar. The lunar calendar is approximately 11 days shorter than the solar calendar. Each year, Eid al-Adha, like other Islamic holidays, falls on one of about two to four different Gregorian dates in different parts of the world, because the boundary of crescent visibility is different from the international date line. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Footprints for more videos.